All right, Dave, I've got me a signal down here. It's been a little bit hard going, but I'm happy enough with this one. I've got my splodge going vertical. It's only coming in at sort of six, seven. So that's the splodge line you're starting to see form there as you're going over it. Yep, there Coming you go. up onto that center bit. And that's what happens with small nuggets. You'll get them either side, but then it'll nearly do a vertical line. I'm happy with that signal. You want to have a go at your I'll have shape? a listen. I've got my sensitivity down a bit lower than what you have there, Mr. Coffee Bush. So I'm just going to up my sensitivity right up to 28. You can hear it's chatting a bit now. I come back over. Not overly no, convincing, Not either. overly convincing, even when I've turned the sensitivity up a little bit. But I'm coming in around that four or five mark on the screen as well. So I've got to be thinking, we've still got to have a look at it. We can't oh. leave it there. Oh, I'm going to have a look at it, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, look, I'll get the pick out here. I'm yep. just going to, it's probably uh, a bit bigger pick I, that I would normally have for uh, these machines. But all I'm going to do is really take the surface off and not much more at the moment and just yep. uh, come back and have a listen again once I've cleared that little bit of surface material away. I think we've probably got it coming through a bit more consistently at the moment, have we? Yeah. I still reckon we're in that area there, but probably not very much of it. Okay, I'll clear this stuff out of the way and then we'll just take a little bit more out. Okay, so we're talking about down in this area yep. here, just take that little bit out because we don't want to bury it deeper than what it was originally buried. No. That it's... sludge in the centre's coming in nicely. Absolutely. Keeping our numbers fairly consistent, we know they're going to be lower numbers. Yep, so we're still in around that area there, Dave. That's it, I'll take this back again a bit further. Just take out this this time, just yep. that little bit on the surface there. That should probably be enough. Yep. Yep. I think we've moved it. That's our signal. A little further up into this top part, do you think? Uh, what I might do. A little bit of chatter there, but we've got the sensitivity up a bit. Yeah. No. I don't think it's there. I'll just no. put that out that side there for a minute. Yep. Take another little piece out of here and see what happens this time. Yeah, I'll come back around yep. this side for you. That's it. Uh, have a go with, you, do, put your scoop over it. Settle it down. It's in the scoop, Dave. 100% certain on that, that one. And that is a beautiful splodge, Mark. Actually, at that point, have a look at this. They're only low numbers, but that's a glorious looking splodge. So we are in the scoop. Okay, let's just uh, take a little bit out. Gonna separate it out, two hands here. We're gonna run back over the top again. No. I'm tipping it's not in that. No. So we know it's in the scoop here. I reckon I heard a clunk that yep. I wasn't really that keen on. Yeah, I think I can see that clunky bit too. Um, unfortunately, uh, like most of our targets today, guys, we'll bring you in and have a look. I reckon we've got this one here. And I reckon it's going to be a small piece of lead shot. I'm 100% yep. certain now I've got it in the light. A little piece of lead shot. But that was a great little target to get. It came in nice and low. And that's what we're looking for when we're hunting with these machines to look for gold. And the difference, like I like the 900 and I found gold with the 900. Yep. But I reckon I wouldn't have stopped with the 900 for that. And uh, I think that's why with that centre line, the conductivity line through there, yep. when you've got that splodge, you've got it on that centre line, a small object is usually going to be a piece of gold with yep. the uh, manacore or a piece of lead. Unfortunately, uh, luck wasn't on our side this time. No, not this time. But... but let's go and have a look. We've got one more target to dig for you guys. All right, well, look, I did 
ping what I think is a target here, Mr. Coffee Bush, with yep. the uh, Equinox 900, the uh, little uh, six inch coil on it. I'm just going to run over and give you guys a listen to it now. So we'll take that out, drop it away. Yep. That's a nice screamy one. Absolutely. So it's staying around my numbers uh, two and three almost consistently. Let's uh, see what your thoughts are after you run the manticore over it. Remember guys, with the manticore, we've actually got that conductivity or centre line. Um, if it's putting a splodge on that, it's much more likely to be a, a small piece of uh, gold or hopefully not another piece of lead. I'm just getting it just on there. It's certainly on the centre line, but remember I've actually notched out one and two. Yep, yep. So your three, I'm only just clipping in on it. Okay, but well, once I still again, like it, Dave. Again, I'm just going to just clear the surface. So it's almost just the weight of the pick, just clearing a little bit of the surface material away. Give us a nice flat uh, workbench there, and then we'll have another listen. Actually, I'm wondering, we might actually use the 900 as the test vehicle because you picked it up better. Okay. You might want to up the sensitivity a little bit no, there, no, no, possibly, no. but you found it. That's coming through pretty consistently now, isn't it? Yep. Again, I'm just using the weight of the pick to scrape the surface off here. Pull that stuff back. I'll get rid of the ink discard before. All right, you are in your pile. I'm certain it's in the scoop at least. I'm going for that one right there. Not the grey one, not the big flat grey one. I'll take him out, let's have a listen. Oh, poop. I only had a 50-50 chance there, then. He did, <laughs> had a 50-50 chance. Um, grey gold again. Yeah, yeah. Look guys, absolutely uh, small target here. Equinox 900, it was a good signal. Um, unfortunately, it uh, is the wrong colour. Yep. Well, look, uh, it's been fun, guys. We've been out here in the whipstick. Uh, might be time to head back to the office and do a little bit of work, Mr. Coffee Bush, because <laughs> we're not going to pay the bills digging up this stuff. But I've certainly learnt a lot while I've been out here. Yeah, it's been good fun with both the machines, and it's been really good to trade signals. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm Gold Digger Dave. And I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. And this has been another episode or segment for the Mind Lab Show.